ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Last time, we had a very fun fight with the Japanese Navy against the Russians. And today, we are gonna see if my light task force in the Indian Ocean is able to find the Russian fleet. And, well, to answer that question, Yes, we can. Join me today. And see how this battle unfolds. We're going in. All guns blazing. Heavy cruiser, start at the second ship. And go to the right. Ooh, we got our first hits in. Smoke screen, please. Mind you, we only have very small caliber guns. This is a light cruiser without torpedoes, sadly enough. Mm, yeah, let's stay on this course. Heavy cruisers. Looks... Whoa -ho -ho! Evasive maneuvers. In fact, go evasive maneuver in the other direction. Focus fire on the escorts. Kill the escorts. Heavy cruisers. It was a trap. Guns blazing on all sides. <laughs> Love it. We have a flooding on an enemy battleship. However, enemy torpedo boat got into range for a torpedo attack. Will she launch? Damage to her torpedoes. But no destruction of her torpedoes. Oh, this is bad. Um, light cruisers, please focus fire on this torpedo boat here. It needs to go. All right, we managed to survive the trap. Now is the question, can I turn this around? Quite literally, all ships turn around. <laughs> and this sh ship may join the heavy cruisers. For all I care, make it a bit more manageable. Light cruisers over here, heavy cruisers over here, open fire. Oof, these ships just cannot turn. Mental note. As we score our first flooding damage of the day. And we score another good hit on the Vladimir. Hmm. A Vladimir that is in trouble. Where have I seen that before? Okay, looking good. Also, notice the range of my torpedoes. Lock torpedoes on the other battleship, please. Goro, this way. I want all guns on this battleship. All weapons on this battleship. And oh no! Come on, Kino! Kino! Kino, please! Please, Kino! No flooding! No! No! Damn it! That is unfortunate. Talking about unfortunate heavy cruiser, for fuck's sake, start moving. As the Nagara took another hit. And the Nagara's engine is off. Shit. This is not good. This is not good at all. Rejoin the light cruiser division.
heavy cruisers detach. And focus fire on the old cruiser again. And watch as the Mogami will die now. No, Mogami will live. Nagara won't. Well, at least it's something. Ah, uh, come on. This is not quite how I envisioned this battle to go. These are the moments where I'm like, should I just hit uh, Alt F4 and <laughs> restart this battle completely? <laughs> the answer to that is no. But I'm tempted. Because I could do so much better. Stop hitting my light cruisers, please. Light cruisers, I want maximum speed out of you guys. Megara. Yeah, looks bad. Ooh, is that a flooding? Indeed it is. The Ashigawa at least has some speed to her. Considering I'm fighting with light cruisers here, I'm not unhappy with their performance. I'm not happy either. Um, yeah, you have one torpedo that you can fire on each side. It's gonna be risky. In the meanwhile, my heavy cruisers are starting to do some damage. Not a lot, but some. Ooh, a rudder got hit. But in exchange, detach. Stay on course, Mogami. Stay on course. Torpedo away. Let's turn you away. This torpedo will hit. And it's a dud. Of course it's a dud. <laughs> yep, you could actually hear the frustration there for a moment. Back to my uh, zen state, I suppose. Ah! Okay, Mogami. Before you die, turn around and fire your second torpedo. Good luck. By now, my light cruisers are so close to the battleship that even my small guns are causing uh, floodings. And that is what I want. Although, I would really like Mo Mogami to live. That's the most important thing right now for me. I fully admit that. Go ahead, full speed, Mogami. Torpedo away. Good. She's done for. And we have a torpedo launch from the Ashigara on the enemy battleship. Enemy battleship got hit and is done for. Hurrah! My light squadron prevailed. One cruiser lost, two badly damaged. But two Russian battleships sunk. Mm, this feels good. This feels really good. Let's see, a Mogami class heavy cru light cruiser was lost. Ooh, and a lot of transport ships everywhere. Uh, Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, and we have too few crew members to actually gotta return home with this task force. 
too badly damaged to continue operating here. Um, these two are moving here, that's good, that's fine. Let's assume for a moment that the Russians will sign the peace treaty. Yeah, there. I'm looking. I was looking at the power projection and not the um, victory points. So let's assume that the Russian Russians here will be neutralized next turn. That will give me mm, more capabilities. Let's see. I'm a bit worried about my uh, fleet status. Seven months for my new cruisers. Uh, the amount of ships that need to be repaired is not as much as I uh, thought. I thought more ships would need repairs. Um, finances. Yeah, look at that. 20% of my transports have been sunk in a single turn. It's gonna take me like what, six or seven turns to repair it? Um, heavy cruiser, you will protect convoys in this sector. You two, you three will go here as well. More ship protection, please. Can I sortie? Yes. The Issei with two, three, four, five, six torpedo boats, four heavy cruisers. And your job is to protect convoys. Now let's hit the end turn. Mm. This is not what I hoped for. Not at all. But what? Oh, right. We're at peace with the French. Okay. So, the French surrendered. That's good. Um, Let's see. French Polynesia. And Cambodia. And Tonkin. is what I want. I got two of them. Nice. Uh, more GDP. Yes, please. More GDP. I am losing so much right now. Okay, so... One port here is mine now. And another one. Sadly, I did not get the ones in between. Still, it is a major victory for all I care, all I care about, honestly. Um, not a lot of uh, transports got sunk this time because my power projection here has gone up a tenfold. And let's see, I have a few battleships here. Let's send the undamaged ones and the heavy cruiser away from this port because the port is seriously overflowing. Uh, um, ship status. Let's see. I have multiple ships with low crews. How many crew members do I have right now? 140. I'm only getting 260. Jeez. Is there a research that will give me more crew training? Oh, maneuver warfare, I suppose. I suppose. Um... Yeah, let's focus on that. And let's focus on better torpedoes for now. Finances. Well, working hard on getting that back under control. 
I'm going to bring my research down to 60%, though. Um, because I'm losing a lot of money. We have a meeting and a battle coming up. The blockade has ceased. And I want more GDP. A cruiser squadron of mine encountered two Russian battleships. Hmm. This sounds familiar, this scenario. Except that this time my cruisers are damaged and I'm down a cruiser. And the enemy is probably at full strength. Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, detach heavy cruisers, please, because you can do 18. Oh. Go faster. Enemy is to the west. Let's go get him. For I am not afraid to die in battle. Ten knots, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. Okay, my heavy cruisers are at full speed. Enemies to the northwest, and we have engaged the enemy. Light cruisers, I'm going to ask you to stay at longer range this time. Oof. Enemy escort ship is, well, maybe even be done for. And look at that. Enemy battleship is badly damaged. All ships fire at the damaged battleship. Light cruisers smoke up. Heavy cruisers. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, this is great. I expected to fight intact enemy ships, but that is not the case. For Georgie has seen better days. I wonder what happened to Georgie. One way or another though, Georgie is going to die. We scored a flooding hit. The stern of Georgie is going down. Our midsection is flooding. I think Georgie is done for. That's sad. I threw 1500 shells at her, so. Yep. Goodbye, Georgie. It was a pleasure knowing you. And that is basically what I wanted to do last uh, fight. Just go in and just massacre them uh, like so, but yeah. Fate had other plans with my task force, but they learned. They learned their lesson. Ooh, Tsarovich is badly damaged as well. Did I engage this task force before? I cannot recall. Maybe. No. No, they, mu they must have fought another battle against someone else. The loss of two more battleships will be devastating for the Russians, though. And devastating indeed. Just hear the sounds of my guns.
Isn't it lovely? Let's see, Tsarovich. No floodings yet, but she is starting to become a bit hot. Let's take a look. Yeah, watch the fire damage add up. Ho oh, oh. ho. Insane. 830, 850, 870, 80, 90, 900. Oh, there's the first flooding. Yeah, <laughs> she's going down fast now. As we hit the 1k fire damage. Her rudder is down. Massive flooding all over her ship. Yeah, she's done for. Enemy is to the east, but that's a torpedo boat. I am not interested in fighting torpedo boats. So the Tsarovich was a 12 million ship. Hmm. Yep, you should have accepted peace, but no, you didn't. And now you're paying the price. Oh, look at that. Three Russians gone and the Admiral survived, as it should be. Well, two torpedo boats versus one. Usually, I will would just auto-resolve uh, a battle such as this. However, I am in a good mood, in a daring mood. Enemies to the north. Let's see, this is a three inch boat, but I have plenty of three inch guns. The carry. Look at her slim lines. <laughs> now, let's turn the torpedo off and let's start a small turn. as we engage the enemy. First pass has been complete. Ah, my torpedo missed. And frankly, the enemy won that fight. Damn, the carry has badly, ooh, I take that back. That was a good hit. Okay, well, if I would, if I was smart, I would now just keep running until my torpedo was reloaded. I'm not smart, so I'm going in. Engine has been repaired. We're back to 24 knots. Eh. A bit of a rudder issue here. Where is the enemy ships? Enemy are moving here. Okay, yeah, this course should give me another engagement. I would like armor piercing rounds, please. Aggressive firing, all guns. Enemy is over there, stand by. We have an angle issue on some of the guns. Target the proper ship. This is the ship that I want to kill. Be careful. Come on, guns, do your thing. Angle issue. My ship uh, firing arcs are very limited now due to that, and that is unfortunate. I do not think I can win this engagement. So yeah, I'm going to disengage and I'll be right back. At least I'm gonna attempt to disengage. Sometimes later. We managed one more pass at the enemy before disengaging. Ooh, Northeast Asia. I'm still losing transports now. It's, it must be the Russians. 
Still, more and more ships of me are uh, purring in. Uh, three heavy cruisers, one, two, three light cruisers. Yeah, sure. Finances. Oof. Bad, bad, bad. Four months until we have better torpedoes. This is gonna take a long time, I feel. In all honesty, what I need is peace. Just simply peace. I got enough ships, I just do not have the crew members right now. As we hit another meeting, what do we get? A torpedo boat against... What is that group doing there still? That task force should have returned home by now. Am I looking at another bugged fleet here? Maybe. Let's send a heavy cruiser as backup. Oh, my fleet just missed the Russian fleet. Destination Northeast Asia. Hmm. Let's go there. And if they go in this direction, well, they're allowed to. <laughs> mm, I got some torpedo boats here. I'm going to deploy you, at least four of you. And with that, I think I'm ready to go. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Ammo status. Yeah, most of my ships are looking good. Some of my cruisers, the Nagara and Co, are starting to run low. That's this task force here. Hmm. You two, join up with that task force. As we hit April of 1900, man. Um, what else? What else is there to report? We have three ships with low crew now. However, I do hope... No. We need a thousand crew members for this ship. Let's take a look at her. What kind of ship are you? You... I can't disband this ship now. Can I? It's one of my trap knots. Um, oh dear. You know what? Um, I got an idea. Where are you? Oh, come on. I had three ships showing as low crew. Now I'm not seeing any of them anymore. <sighs> Not with low crew anyway. We have a battleship that needs six months to repair. Six months, that's a long time. Maybe I should, you know, Can't even suspend her repairs. No, just gotta slug it through, I suppose. Not much else to do. So let's hit the M turn and see what happens. All right, another peace treaty. Well, it would be nice. Um, yeah. A war between the French and the Russians, and we encountered a Russian task force. Fun! Let's dive straight into it. Uh, 
after all, the more Russian battleships that I sink, the better. Especially with this task force. This should be fairly easy. I mean... <laughs> Hello! Dreadnought. Battleship Dreadnought. And the second division, Dreadnought, Dreadnought, Dreadnought. And a battleship. The Kawachi is showing her age. <laughs> But she's still a very fun ship, I think. Very fun indeed. Enemy is to the south. And I think the enemy is not running. There we are. Hello. That was the first salvo. Second salvo, please. Whoa, enemy torpedo boats. Let's target the torpedo boats down. And let's start a turn. Not a big turn, but still a turn. What is up with my formation today? <laughs> also, what is up with the enemy hit points today? Ooh. Piotta is going down. Mikael is taking heavy fire. And Potkin is looking at this and is wondering if she should retreat or not because this looks to be very deadly indeed. Of course, my battleships, I mean, they're big battleships, but they only have 9 and 10 inch guns. I mean, let's be honest here. It's not the strongest fleet of battleships that I'm using. I should start looking into getting 12-inch um, guns, I think. That's sad. The enemy is being ripped off the heart. <coughs> Bloody insane. But they're still fighting back, and I think they no, did not hit. Uh -huh. Mikael is gone, and Potikin is gone, and the enemy battleship task force is neutralized. And I don't think I took... Well, not a lot of damage anyway. Yeah, light damage. Oh god, no. Where on earth are all these Russian ships coming from? Two battleships, three torpedo boats. Well. I suppose I know what to do. Right? The question is, do I have enough ammo to do so? My heavy cruisers are still fine. Light cruisers are fine, but are starting to run a bit low on hit points. <laughs> do I need to detach these ships? No, I don't think so. Not today. So. Sink the escorts, 
get a battleship, maybe two, and then see how things uh, develop. And the Mogami, well, she has seen better days. We have found the enemy, we have engaged the enemy, and I would like to target the second of the enemy ships. Oh, huh, that's a sharp turn. That will ruin your speed. What the? Pew, 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 pew. You know, being on these Russian ships, you're like, what the hell are these Japanese guys doing? They're shooting at us with... Very small guns. Also, why are you not moving? I mean, Jesus. I guess I turned too sharp there. <laughs> wow. I mean, you gotta admit, in some regards, this is kind of funny. <laughs> Point six. She should be able to do 18 knots, but I guess her engine efficiency is bad. Very bad. Like, as bad as a sheep. The firing tactics. <laughs> have worked somewhat. Both battleships are damaged. And now I'm going to turn my heavy cruiser a bit more in. Light cruisers, keep going, keep doing your thing. And let's focus fire on the first of the enemy battleships now. Oh! The Ashigara. Her entire bow section is gone. Oh, that is bad. That is very bad. Turn away. In the meanwhile, my uh, <laughs> stationary target ship here is fighting off the torpedo boats. Good hit, good hit. Yes. One torpedo boat gone. The other one pretty much neutralized there. Fire AP rounds at the enemy battleship, please. First shot and a flooding. Good. And a flooding on the other battleship as well. Now, if this task force would actually be able to move from her location rather than remaining stationary all the time, that would be very useful indeed. Sadly, that is not happening, is it? You forgot to raise the anchor, sir. That's sad. Heavy damage to two battleships. One battleship might actually go down here. Hmm. She's half flooded. Ashigawa, please turn sharply. Light cruisers go in between the enemy uh, task force. By now the ship is back up to <laughs> two point seven knots. <coughs> yes indeed, Nivana is going down. Once again, a Russian battleship task force neutralized no, not neutralized, destroyed. 
by a light Japanese task force. It really shows that I'm too over-reliant on my battleships. I can, you know, get rid of half of them, I think, and just fight this war with light and heavy cruisers. Maybe I should. Torpedo away. I'm gonna turn off the other torpedoes on this task force. Ah, torpedo detonated early. You do not have torpedoes. You're out of torpedoes. You're out of torpedoes. Okay, we gotta do this the old fashioned way then. Again, annoying. I would have liked a proper hit. Go with AP rounds. All task forces. Thank you. At this range, especially uh, the Machurima should be able to get a uh, flooding hit in. I mean, come on. It's 400 meters. 300. Come on, 4 inchers. Ouch! Yeah, 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 yeah. Detach. Go in behind her. Oh, come on. Mogami. Ramming speed. Banzai! <laughs> Useful? No. Fun? Hell yes. <laughs> okay. And with that, the enemy battleship fleet is neutralized. The Mogami. Well, she fought bravely. Same with the Matsushima. And two enemy battleships are gone. An Oi class and a Mogami class. And once more, we have a small battle against the Russians. Well, ladies and gentlemen, join me next time to see how this battle will uh, play out and how the rest of the campaign will play out. Will we finally get a few turns of peace? Something I really look forward to. Who knows? Until then, though, take care.